I love the fact he's like, I haven't done that. I haven't got that. I haven't done that. But he just said, I could do nothing and it would all go fine. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Are you ready to go to another wedding? It's time for another episode of Don't Tell the Bride. Don't tell the wig. My Nana takes her wig off when she's drunk. A British reality TV show in which couples are given an amount of money by a television production show in order to appear on this show and give them a wedding to remember in which the groom must organize everything Quite often, they have no experience in doing such a thing. Scandalous! It does in fact lead to some very interesting scenarios. Sometimes it's male incompetence and sometimes the bride is like, why hasn't he read my mind? And you know what I always say, which is a fundamental part of relationships here on the Chanel, my lovelies, I always say, communication is key. I hate you. I'm going home. Although I am going to say some people are just terrible at communication, both listening and telling. Yes. I have been absolutely loving doing wedding content. I am someone who has worked in and around the wedding industry for a long time. I've had a handful of wedding clients, shall we say. Both bridesmaids and brides, even a groom here or there. If you don't know me, my name is Luxaria. I have been a makeup artist, a professional makeup artist, for nearly 17 years. And I also have a biochemistry degree because I have a fundamental interest in science. Bloody love science. Love it. I personally will never get married in my life. I'm just not interested. It's not for me. Although contractually, it is kind of useful to be able to say, this is my significant other. Please let us get this house. <laughs> However, I am fascinated with the celebration of a wedding. Quite often we see on this Chanel, brides will treat this like the utmost celebrity special day. Costs will skyrocket, people will be angry, upset, stressed, and it makes for great television, I must say. Although I do also want to point out that sometimes production is dirty with its editing. But with that being said, my loves, would you like a top comment from the last episode of Don't Tell the Bride? And that is by Rosie ij 3 on and they say, Right, strap in, it's a long one. Getting married to someone you've never lived with is madness to me. I feel like you really get to know someone once you've actually lived with them for a significant amount of time. Some people end up separating after moving in together purely because they realize they aren't going to be able to put up with the other person's shit for the long haul. My goodness me, if there wasn't a truer proverb ever shared, you only really get to know someone when you live with them. Isn't that true? I have some big changes coming up in my life soon in which I will actually be moving in with my boyfriend of two years. So it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna have to live with a boy again. Oh, right my lovelies, pop on your bridal corset, sit down. Think about what you've done. Get yourself a beverage. I am again on a caffeinated beverage today because she needs the energy, she does. She's powering through it. Pop your little hanger right into your bridal hole and let's watch. Don't tell the wig. What is this? Season one, episode three. Oh, tick, 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 tick. It's like the cake is made of bombs. A bomb demence. Yes. Right, oh. I was expecting to go like, kaboom! Don't tell the wig. Very, very lackluster intro, isn't it? Right. Oh, music. Packing. Lee Empty Orchard that drawer. has accepted. Who, I'm sorry. Who packs like that? Who Lee does that? Lee Orchard has accepted the Lee challenge Orchard. of organising his wedding all by himself right. in just four weeks. Four weeks. That's right. They get four weeks. Lee's agreed to move out of his family home in Chessington, <gasps> South London, until after the wedding. S sorry, He's where? In Chessington World of Adventure. He's saying goodbye to fiance Sophie Moon and oh, their baby look at the, Flynn. The tiny young people, children. Not be Sophie Moon. Moving out for four weeks. He's got a Hollywood starlet car. Yeah, hopefully. I'm sorry, these people look literally 16 years old. Nice and quickly and then uh, it'll be worth it at the end. It'll be worth it at the end? The cul-de-sac is shaking in it's excitement. Be quite hard. I'm not looking forward to not seeing you for a while. She looks like she knows a thing or two 25 year old running Lee a house. and 24-year-old Sophie 25, have been 24. together for just over a year. But their mutual attraction goes back a lot further. Wait, hang on. Okay, right. Wait, they've been together for just over a year and they're getting married. That to me sounds very quickly. I don't know what the average time is, but like a year and you know you're gonna get married? A year? Right, she's off. Oh, pixelation. Sophie and I have known each other for about six years now. Okay. And uh, we met at um, a friend's 
birthday dinner party. Loads of our friends who kind of knew us throughout the stage, they were like, you know, you two, you've got like chemistry. I always Oh knew. goodness me, I thought that was gonna be a very exciting tell all moment there, but it was just a birthday party. A Bianca! I always knew from the day I met Lee that he really fancied Sophie. Okay. I think he was like really in love with her or something. <laughs> but um she didn't really she wasn't loving him much. Oh and I think I was completely platonic, really, until about the middle of last year and then I kind of thought, Oh, I think I'm Going fond of him, more fond of him. <laughs> oh, this is like having a nice house plant nearby where you're like, oh, I really like the house plant actually. I hated it at first, but now it's my best friend. It's exactly the same. On a side note, did your potted plant die or did it just not have what it takes to make it in this fast, high paced, thriving environment? To just three months together, right. Sophie became pregnant with baby Flynn. Three months and together, Lee felt and a baby. it was time to pop the question. Pop his clogs. I had decided <laughs> to propose to Sophie down on one knee and pulled the ring out. Pulled the ring out of where? Said, it's hot. Straight away. I want to be married to Lee, obviously, because I love him, but really, Flynn, I think, makes us makes me want to be married to him now as opposed to in five years' time or whatever. All right. But in the busy year since their engagement, they haven't found time to tie the knot. In the last year, say I graduated, you know, we've had Flynn. She's got a degree. And uh, we bought the house and moved in. And so I don't think we could have really packed more into the last year than we've done. That is literally every single massive major life event happening in one year. A baby, a house, marriage. Don't bother. I have had none of those happen to me except Biscuit, my blonde child. Ah, <laughs> the government! Speeding He's off. putting £3,000 of his own into the budget, oh, right, okay. giving him a total of £15,000. Right, but yes, so I missed this because they never say it. They give them £12,000 and then the rest of it is like their own budget. So in the last one we saw £2,000 borrowed from parents. He has £3,000 saved up and the show is giving them 12K. Maybe that's also like a, an incentive is to get married. Because if you know you kind of are, but then the show comes to you and says, we'll give you 12K if we can film everything. Maybe that makes it a bit more, I don't know, lucrative, is that the word? Lucrative, like it, maybe it convinces you to do it more. Sophie is anxious he may not be up to the task ahead. Oh, well, People that's why so he's on the show. On their weddings and they spend so much time yes. and energy yes. planning each tiny bit. Mm. I think he's going to find it really challenging to fit it all in. Yep. But Lee works as a quantity surveyor. Cyberpunk and is convinced that his slick management skills... A skill quantity surveyor? He surveys the quantity? I don't know why, but I simply must. What does that do? What does a quantity surveyor do? Do you know, sometimes I hear these job titles and I'm like... What is that? Transvestite of the bride? A senior assistant to the quality supervisor. What is that? What does that do? Junior accounts manager of the internal resources department. Like what, what is that? What do you do? What do you do? You email. Lots of emails. Email. <laughs> will stand him in good stead. Right. I'm used to being busy with my work and I don't really mind pressure. I'm used to being busy at the moment. That could all change obviously on the day, but it does have an interesting I'm more worried about just things going wrong, but, uh, just something that we can't do anything about. The leads will organise everything, I think it's, um... What is this hairy chest dynasty? He's got a hairy chest. He looks the sort that you'd accidentally see on, like, Twitter after dark, wouldn't you? And he's also got a hairy chest! Quite a brave decision on his part. Really? Let's hope he doesn't get it wrong. All right, sweet corn. Dad, I know you love sweet corn. Oh, sweet if corn. If Lee does get it wrong, he would have to answer not. to Sophie's close-knit family. Right. In the shape of mother-in-law-to-be, Ronnie. I think Ronnie. he'll be fine on the big things, but I think it might be just some of those little girly dudes. What an interesting looking gentleman. Go compare! Oh. Kick him in his hot. It's giving mad scientist. Although technically I'm a mad scientist. <laughs> girly detail. Oh, he does girly Along details. With feisty sisters and wannabe bridesmaids. Tess and Lucy. What an interesting I dinner think this it's is. Quite hard oh! for me to try and find our dress. Have you ever seen gravy so foul? Tiramisu. I think it's going to be quite hard. Cherry, cherry lady, that's too thin of gravy. Quite hard for Lee to try and find our dresses and right. oh, she's got a getting the right the right colours yeah, and ring. dealing with all our needs as well because we'll be quite specific in what we want. Mm -hmm. I think the whole idea of Lee organising this wedding is absolutely mad. Bongo girl! Bongo de Leonga! 
Is this what he does? Leaving home will give Lee a chance for some rare quality time with hobby, his best yeah. man and trusty football teammate, oh, Pete. Oh, oh, Pete. He used to go out drinking quite Pete, a lot uh, every single Pete night. Pete Burns. Um, no, but it was quite a shock that um, Sophie and, and Lee got together. And, you know, that was quite a shock, sort of, probably more for me than it was for, oh, for him. Because, why? Because uh, I, I lost a drinking buddy. Oh, Pete may have... oh, that's very man, isn't it? To be like, I can't believe you're in love and doing all that because I can't drink. Go up. Lost a drinking buddy, but he's gained a responsible role as Lee's right-hand man. Oh, how awful. But is he thinking responsibly? Probably not. We're supposed to be moving in together to, uh, <laughs> to organise the wedding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This scene here is so Sean Cody coded. Right in front of my salad? <laughs> Don't! Uh, to organise the wedding, there's talk of moving in together and going out every night, but you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> wedding comes first, yeah? yeah. <laughs> right, are they moving in together? Did they say that? Welcome home. Lee and Pete are moving into a friend's flat, oh. which will be their wedding a flat? planning. A Tudor flat? <laughs> Not historically accurate. There is absolutely no meat. Oh no, and it what doesn't take do? them long to swallow any meat. Beers. <laughs> Look at this. Still chilling. Look at that. Just to the next four weeks. The next step. <laughs> to the next step. Shut up with that shit. <laughs> that was very intimate. Apparently, my favorite beer has been taken over by a bunch of LGBTQs, but as a certified country boy, I figured I'd show you how a real man drinks Bud Light. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> Sophie is relying need on her best friend Bianca for moral support. Right, okay. Well, She's that man also was signed a contract, swearing her to secrecy. <gasps> the Simpsons I movie. Think... Oh my gosh, the Simpsons movie. Lee organising the whole wed wedding is just madness. I think She's it's crazy that, that Sophie's just going to go. Gloss. Go ahead, Lee, organise the wedding. But Sophie has faith. Oh, yeah, Bianca you have to learn your baby in the garden. ideas in check. Out of everyone I know, Bianca's definitely going to fight for, like, a really cute wedding. Oh, my God, yeah. are they beard? Hang on, this is also very intimate. Are they both beards for each other? A lesbian beard? All pretty. <laughs> so Sophie <laughs> looks pretty. As long as Sophie looks pretty, yeah. that's the main. All the girly things, I think. Compulsory heterosexuality hoops. Steely little kid. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Still. <Don't. laughs> Sit on this chair and let me give you a lap dance. Girly things are the last thing on Lee's mind as the boys sit down. Oh, is it going to be like, the wedding, wedding needs to stink of gunmetal, girl? Yeah, I'm not really sure where's the best place to start in terms of list, but I reckon invite list in the venue need to be the two things that I figure out yes. at the same time. Great. Right? Have, you drawn, have, you, have you attempted drawing up a list yet? No, I haven't no, even. No, no. We should. Oh, she's got a Casio. To see how many people we can back together. Yeah. Okay. Look go at that school it. photo on the wall. Go for it, girl. Tom Brown. Right. Girl. One. Yeah. Lazy. And you've got people like the football. Should oh, we start from the back or the front? <sighs> cool. I kind of feel like he might not actually. They're not going to do a football wedding, are they? To invite because he oh. doesn't hasn't met all of all of my friends from like who I'd want to be there. Right Wait, back, so he so. hasn't even met everyone in her family yet? And like close friends, family, you know, basically the same thing. After a year of dating, goodness, nyah. If I was to have a wedding, I think it would be, I'd literally have like maybe six people? Oh, Sad and lonely Luxaria in her studio shouting on the internet about weddings. <laughs> uh, you got Errol, Brett, Joe. Errol, Brett and Joe? What about that? that you know the big geezer that goes big, down the... Oh, the big geezer oh, down, down, down the docks? Oh, that's so bad. How can I forget his name? Because I would like, like, really like my friends and family to be there. And especially it to be a family I'm wedding. sorry you're not allowed. Hard to be on there. No. Mm. <laughs> Jamie. It doesn't Jamie. take long for Lee to come up with three football teams worth of guests. Right. Can he field similar numbers for Sophie? No. That list is huge. How many uh, people are we at so far, by the way? Mm. Don't know. There's got to be like 30, 35 people on that. That's just yours. How, what's average for a wedding? 100? <laughs> Sophie. 50? Mum. <laughs> yeah. Dad. Mummy. Put on mummy's wig for the wedding. Oh, fate to, yeah, the night. <gasps> 
We hear this all Next the time. morning, and Lee's checking out his local parish church as a potential wedding venue. Here we are. <gasps> I've got the hickety Very upwards. And he's hoping the vicar will sympathise with his slightly unorthodox circumstances. Oh, God, what is it? You what is say it? you're wanting to organise a wedding at a relatively short notice. How much short notice? Um, four weeks. Oh, right. The, the church thing, the way it works is it has to call bands three times before yeah. you are married. And then um, as long as we can call bands on three consecutive Sundays... Sorry, what's a call band? ..then we can marry you. On sure. the, the Sunday, it'll be the Sunday after, won't it? Let's just make sure. Call bands? Um, What's that? That all works. So that's one, two, that's a Church three, of four. England call bands? No, that's bands. fine. We can just do that. Sorry, call bands? And let me Google this. What, what, what does that mean? A reading of bands. What's this? <gasps> I've never heard of this in the Church of Angleterre. Je m'appelle Georgia Jahabates. I might stand in Angleterre. Most Church of England marriages require bands to be read out in church before the wedding can take place. Bands are an announcement in church of your intention to marry and a chance for anyone to put forward a reason why the marriage may not lawfully take place. Bands are an ancient legal tradition and have been read out every week in church across the lands for millions of couples over many centuries. She's dead. Something I did absolutely not know anything about. Well, it just goes to show, doesn't it? That right, leaves okay. Lee just seven days to find a reception venue that can do the same date as the vicar. Oh, Otherwise, oh, that's really Sophie pretty. May. The thing is, like, I'm not religious in the slightest, but I love seeing all these really rustic old buildings, and a lot of them that have survived from that time tend to be of religious origin because they had lots of money to keep them well maintained, shall we say. And just for context, this church is actually called St. Mary's the Virgin of Chessington, and it's first mentioned in Priory Records in 1174, which means it was built before then. That means that this church is nearly a thousand years old, and that's what I mean when I say these places have the money to be maintained, because, because no other sector except maybe government has buildings that old. Bonkers! And I bet you it's still exactly the same to this day. Disappointed. I would like a church wedding. I would say I want it's quite classic. She wants a classic I wedding. I... Do you think I like love the idea of a white wedding? A white With wedding. With a clock ticking, Lee and Pete are on the hunt for God, a reception venue. But are Lee's standards as high as Sophie's? Maybe. Because I Have haven't been to loads of weddings, I'm not too worried about what exactly the level of detail happens. Oh, massive mistake, massive mistake. If there's anything, anything that brides love, it's attention to detail. It's the little things that matter. That's a very masculine way of being like, oh, I'll be all right, yeah. You fucking, yeah, get you flowers. You fucking, you sit down and get fouled. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants sit down and get fouled. Oh, I do sort of hate that I have this talent of doing like, mock male nonsense. I'm happy that if I'm sat around a really nicely laid oh, table with nice flowers, that, was... that that's a nice what? day. <laughs> Hyde Park is quite a special place for us as a family, so I think I would quite like some, you know, if it, in my wildest dreams, I would have it in Hyde Park with all my friends and family. Oh! The first venue Lee's checking out isn't exactly Hyde Park. It's Hyde Park is a beautiful park in London. I've taken Biscuit for many walks around Hyde Park and he can scream at everyone. Ah, the government! On an island in the middle of the River Thames. Oh, right, where's but this? But Raven's 8 holds happy memories for Lee. Wait, is yeah, this Pie Island? When I was a kid. Called, and we used to go kayaking off the side, so... Oh, uh, Kai, why... <laughs> oh, a blonde child. A little bit different now. So, these doors will be opening. So and we will flood the room. Open up Bar areas then separate. So as I said, it's very nice to have this area because older guests can come out here in the evening. Now, oh, outside, the old people in an they ideal come out for the evening. evening. We want to do as much as possible outside. What makes this so nice? The venue is available for the weekend he wants, oh but it's starting to dawn on Lee that his nostalgia might be misplaced. Oh dear, yeah, it's a nice place. This is just that the building's not quite up to date. No, it's, it's very neither a dated. modern building nor a traditional old building. Yeah. It's it, like yeah. mid century modern, that's exactly what that is. Wood panelling went out a long time ago. Ooh. 
Next on Lee's list country is a country house hotel that's just 20 minutes from the church. Okay. But it's a lot more expensive. Oh. Oh, £48,000. Um, it looks nice, man. Let's get inside and have a look. Let's get inside and have a kiss, yeah. <laughs> Glens Park Hotel has played host to a visiting King of England, as well as celebrity royalty like Peter Andre and Jordan. Oh! No wonder it'll eat up a third of... You've got to love Katie. Poor fishy. No wonder it'll eat up a third of his budget. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, how are you? Hi, Peter. Oh, She's not messing about. She's got her clipboard and a dream. So this is the Prince Flower Suite. Ooh! Sorry, this is so... It used to be fabulous, but now it's very... Jeremy, what are the quarter numbers for your reports in the quarter of the third quarter? Contact Sharon in HR and tell her I want to wear a wig. I'll never stop making Spider-Man movies. This is where the wedding breakfast take place, mm. and the top table mm. usually run along the... It's oh. so... Like, look how small that room is for how many chairs are in there. Busy, busy bumblebees. Obviously, the key members of the wedding party are facing the grounds and everyone's, everyone can see you when you stand up to do your speeches. I feel like it needs to be... So this would be like your this. terrace area. Obviously, you can come out here, we have umbrellas out here. And then through some formal suites. Natalie Umbrellier. Well. Sure. Reminds me a little bit of the Cotswolds. I have to say, I'm actually quite partial to this place. I, we've been inside, had a look. I, I, I really like it. I think the room was just seemed a bit more. It's a hotel as well, so you've got a honeymoon suite. You know, yeah, I'm getting a honeymoon suite out of it, so to I'll be honest. What, so oh, that's Peter true. Andre and Katie Price are up there as well. Claim to fame, love it. Only one problem, though. Someone's already booked the Saturday Lee wants. Oh, no, Do you well, want the Saturday? Yeah, it's a problem, uh, isn't it? I Saturday. just think it would be easier in terms of the people being out to attend. Lee must now decide between the convenience of a weekend wedding and his first choice of reception venue. Oh, nightmare. After almost a week without Lee, Sophie is starting to feel the strain. Oh, Dido's gonna start playing any second. I know you think that she's dead. I know. I've got you. She's visiting her mum for some moral support. Baby. <laughs> oh, nanny. I'm bloody stressed. I look like a domestic goddess. <laughs> but failing. Oh. Stop that immediately. Stop it. Get some help. The pieces of the jigsaw are starting to fit together. Oh, so he got he it for Friday. He now has a reception venue, a church, and a date. Oh. Yeah, I think, to be For honest, some reason, I thought the vicar lady was going to be like, mm, really sorry, but actually, it's due to the rule in 1432, it's actually not available. No. I've got to read the barnets for the bees at least three times. Yeah, I think, to be honest, I would be really happy with it. So, I think I've delivered. Again. Okay. I'm making it happen. Well, this is only the first thing. <laughs> you know it. Oh, the head. The head's <laughs> going to grow. If you were to explain him in sort of one word, it'd definitely be arrogant. There's no question about it. He's an arrogant fella, but I, you know, I suppose it borders on the, line, on the lines of confidence. I don't so mind. I'll still give you a kiss. Enjoy yourself and have a great day. The issue Stop is it. more if stuff goes wrong. But then I'll just be uh, in trouble for the rest of my life, basically. Well, that's the T, isn't it? It's all very well organising a massive, huge event, but you have to plan in some way for, like, plan B or C in case things go wrong. Because things like this always have a tendency to go wrong. What's that phrase? The show will go wrong, but it also must go on. Cruising. Up the bum, no babies. And up the bum, we shall go. Sophie is expecting Bianca to be the one pointing Lee Bianca in the right direction. Bianca, girls! Hello. I hope he's got the dress, or at least thought about oh, it. Look at the bird bath. Oh, by I now? He's... Are you joking me? Don't say that. Don't say by now. That's like you know something. I know. I really, I really, really Wait, don't what? know. what? I missed Maybe. that. Oh, by I now? Hope he's... Are you joking me? Don't say that. Don't oh, say I by see. now. That's like you know something. I know, I really, I really, really don't know. Do you even know where he is? Where he lives? No. <gasps> He's disappeared. He's done a runner. No. He wears a wig. Are they going to be able to make any dress, regardless of the style, fit Sophie properly? Not if she's going to see it on the day, no. Yeah, no. To be honest, so, <laughs> Lee is so busy. Okay. If I ring, I feel like I'm taking up part of his time, okay. so I don't really want to ring and ask, how's everything going? Because okay. Oh, likely he story. Have any time. Do you, know you don't want to write it down. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> giving Lee a list? No. <laughs> yes. Have I got? Have oh. <laughs> I got a death wish? There's so much that needs to be done, and just speaking to Sophie, it's been the first time I've actually 
even really thought about the wedding with her and there's just there is so much to do she might just be saying yeah. I don't know anything I haven't done anything so she might just be saying it but I don't think she is she might be so, yeah. she might be telling fibbles I hope she's really gonna like, lesbian talk to fibs about stuff. She's no, not. She I don't know if she's a lesbian. She might not be. <laughs> Probably not. But she might be. Ah, dress easy. Yeah. <laughs> you sound it for the camera. No, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> not my words. This dress is uh, not too bad, to be honest. With you. I think get them all in one place, load them up and down. You should be like, bang, I love one of those. That looks kind not of a bit near Brussels Square. Everyone in this show is talking like. Hi. I'm Annalisa, lovely to meet Annalisa. you. To speak. Well, I don't yeah. hate her. She is a businesswoman right. doing so business. For a dress for your fiance. Correct, yes. Uh, tell Betrayed. me a little bit about her. What what kind of clothes does she normally wear? Is she quite a girly girl or is she more um, of a manly man? What kind of things do you think she'd like? Um, quite hard questions. They're, um, <laughs> How is that a hard question? I think she'll want, you know, the sort of fairly kind of typical wedding Classic. dress in terms, right. of, um, in terms of the colour and in mm -hmm. terms of the style, not like and being anything too outrageous or... Something like that? <clears throat> Again, less... Detail. Do you want to just completely plain? That one? Oh, That's any, very anyone, simple yeah, and... Yeah, anything more completely along plain. those lines. <laughs> Uh, Sophie's but, but, not allowed but. to buy her own wedding dress, but there's nothing stopping her and Bianca from looking. Oh, every time. Right. Okay. So it what did you want? Anything for your waist at all? <laughs> I'm sorry. Bit... She said it doesn't fit here at all. It doesn't. It doesn't fit because it's too low, and it doesn't do anything for you. Yes, at a all. bit plain. <laughs> a little bit plain. I think that Lee's going to struggle with finding a dress because they're all very different sizes. So I think he's really going to struggle with that, and I'm not a stereotypical size, so he's not going to be able to just. You're go not to shop a stereotypical and pick one size. No, that's going to fit. Look, Sophie. Yeah, this is quite. Look in the mirror and tell me. You have I missed something? Not a stereotypical size. Okay. Right. You want this? I just feel like if you choose something like that, I mean, I, I'm really going to feel really self-conscious the whole day. It's it's and too obviously small. I'll wear it, you need something a bit more. What he thinks more it will look like will be so much worse oh, wait, than actually what it will look like on me. Hmm. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? Sorry. I wouldn't like to be put in charge of buying somebody else's like wedding outfit. I could give advice, but I definitely wouldn't be like, yes, this one. A bit worried about that. So in terms of like, you're saying ah, the that's nicer. The mm. If Sophie can't pick a dress that fits. What hope does Lee have? But there's nothing too scary about horizontal this stripes. Dress. That's thing. I could happily just say, great, we'll take that one. <laughs> With the help of his style flattering. guru Pete, Lee has picked out two contenders Dear. in the first shop. Oh. You know, the Why don't what you, you put you on the dress? Her, it's just which one do you prefer? Yep. Okay. He now faces a tricky decision between this strap. That's a bit nicer because the, the the like stripes of the fabric, the gathering, actually goes in different directions, which can look really quite nice across a waistline. Sometimes when you have just straight horizontal like this, it can be a little bit cheap looking, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Unflattering, a little bit unflattering, a little bit cheap looking. Plus ivory satin dress and this strapless ivory satin yeah. dress. Ivory, well, she wants an ivory satin. So she? he she calls an emergency classic. crisis meeting she wanted white. in the nearest pub. Not the pube. Between those two, I think we've got two really nice dresses. Tiramisu, £3.50. Tiramisu. Have we not seen any prices just yet? The next they love morning, this song. Lee is back at that the dress shop to that make that his final right, decision. All right, here we go. The one on the... Everybody votes. Everybody vote. Everybody vote. I would say the one on the right. The one on the right with the, the more flattering gathering. Dress shop to make his final decision. The nice veil. Um... Am I allowed to just say you choose? No, you're supposed yeah. to choose. Yeah, you're meant to pay attention. I think as long as the other one, the top, fits mm -hmm. um, properly, the other dress. The other the one? The dress. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. 100%. Oh, I would have. Yes, that's the <laughs> most. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. £1,900 designer gown. £1,900. He's okay. now spent over half his 15 grand budget. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a, we didn't get a number for his reception, did we? No. That's ridiculous. That's really nice. It would be to spend more money than you need to. If it's a dress that's amazing and it's going to be perfect for Sophie, then so be it. 
One dress down, yes. three to go. Okay. Lee yes. now has to deal with yeah. Sophie's three sisters, Tess, God. Lucy and Emily, right. who all need bridesmaid dresses. Right. Best woman Bianca has taken pity on him. Bianca! Come along to help. Okay. Love the blue <laughs> dress. Blues? <laughs> Blues? Blues? Could, I guess it could be very <laughs> royal. It we can be kind of blue flower algorithm. It's because we're all quite different with what we like. There's only two size 18s. Yeah, we'll see what they come up with, to be honest. Who knows? I think I should go pick something really ugly. Make them wear it. This yeah. is not helping me out in the boob department. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel a bit like Britney there, Britney Broski. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. I so, like the, the so unusual no. straps on the middle ladies. I like that. We thought oh, maybe so this cool. well, kind of nice. Well. What do you think, Lee? Oh, it's a very yes, beach I wedding. Guess. Come on out. Stop using the, the disabled toilet. What do you think? What do you think? Le Mans. What we think is a bit. It's great. Fruit Pavlova. It's really, really good for their shape, but we need a piece of material to go across. I think with Why? leaves, you'll go really safe with the whole wedding. I really visualise cream, lilacs. No, I don't want to say boring, because that's safe. harsh. I'm sure it won't be boring. But I'm a bit, yeah, quite safe. I think Let this sister gives me kind of like slightly edgier vibes. Maybe it's just like the I don't care, I don't even give a care hairstyle. But I think the woman getting married is actually very like safe. She kind of gives very traditional vibes. But yeah, They're quite obviously safe. quite religious because they've got their Let local me church. See. Let me see. The church of Angleterre. Oh, oh. No. this is Ooh. nice. These are not nice. Mm. <laughs> no, what do you think? Okay, oh. actually, I don't mind so much the sort of ruffled metallic pastels. Are they pastels or are they muted? I'd say muted. Muted pink, muted blue. I think that the pinks are quite nice. Colour. I'd go pinks. with that one, yeah. Better than the greens. Mm. Okay, we're coming in here at 110 pounds. Okay, each right. four thousand pounds. I was just going to something about that. But what about shoes? <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I like the barefoot look. I have no desire to ever go shopping with women again. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I... You're going to be cursed by having five daughters. It was, um, yeah, because I've got all my work laid on as well, I, I ideally need things to happen as quickly as possible. And, and dress shopping is not something that's ever going to happen quickly, so, yeah. No, I've it's no not, desire to but be around everyone ever who's again. ever, ever done it knows. Or but ever even spoken Lee to someone who goes dress shopping. to make shopping. him do things properly, not quickly. Two weeks in and landlady God, Cheryl decides to make her contribution. Why is the landlady Sometimes here? Sometimes you can put things on paper, but I do think sometimes if you've got a bigger picture of it and have it up, I do think that, that can help. Mm. Yeah. She's got a business degree. <laughs> Start doing it. I'm sure it'll be handy. You're such a girl. Things to do. As if I didn't know that that was the, what the purpose <laughs> of this board was. I don't think her, any man um, should plan the wedding without any input from a woman because I think that their um, ideas can sometimes be a bit obscure. One. <laughs> obscure, okay. Almost a bit of a misandric sentence there from landlady, what was she called? Cheryl. But also if there's anything we've seen in these wedding shows is that sometimes the requests are Obscure. I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Here you go. Things to Tick do. Two receptions. Sophie would give her right arm to see that whiteboard, but she can only guess how Lee's mind is. But she can only give her left arm. This is really arm. weird because I can't speak to him, so I can't no. like pacify my mind. I can't sort of think this for myself. Oh, wait, he's fine. He's got it all organised. Three, caterer. Yes. Food. Yeah. Oh gosh, food. I hope he is. It Everyone depends. If there's any really problems, then he's not going to be fine. But I don't know. There's just so many different things that can go wrong. So mm, quite <laughs> drink, drink. Tick. Food sort of half done. I've got to taste it. Bottom line, let's face it, it's chicken. Tick. No, we're not. Food. Gonna tick. tick. No, because it's not. It's still... done. It's going to be chicken. It isn't. I've yeah. just made the decision then. Chicken. Yeah, but you have to. Tick. <laughs> you know it's going to be chicken. Can I just do that part of the tick? OK. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I, I kind of think there's not going to be any flowers or anything, any sort of girly touches, unless my parents or my friends have got something to do about it. With it. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. OK. That's the excitement of going on a show like this. Oh, web photographer website. Invite list, okay. flowers, suits for men, cakes. A DJ, 
I think Lee's going to have to be artist. really start writing a long, 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 long list because it's going to take. It's hard, really, really I hard. She wants to marry. Oh, ah, oh, stop looking, no One say. One thing Lee Mouth. does know is that for Sophie to have a perfect wedding day, she needs a dress that's a perfect fit. Oh, right, they're going to show so the dress. So he's arranged to have her measurements taken oh. in secret. Okay. Okay, right, we need to just go up the stairs all the way to the top. Sophie this has no idea that she's just walked past the shop where her dress is on sale. Oh. Is, this the, is this the same lady as earlier, the, the wedding up, lady? Right. Yes, it is. Okay. This is the first time we've seen this. I think this is actually a very sensible thing to do. If you don't know somebody's measurements, blindfold them and trick them into a house and measure them. Oh. Don't touch me! What? You are 89 inches tall. Thank three you inches know. around. Hey, let's get you built like a serpent. Yeah. Sophie's finally catching wedding fever. Fish works. So it's really, really, really exciting. I'm getting really excited. I don't know how I would but feel about it. Makes it, all this. it makes me think about it loads more. Whereas before I wasn't thinking about the dress at all, but now I've had this, so yeah, I am getting really excited. Oh. The baby is upset. Rosemary's it's baby. only ten days until the wedding, and Sophie's mum. Gosh, we are Ronnie... speeding through this episode. Only ten days through. We haven't really seen like a disagreement or any emotions just yet. So far, this episode seems to be very like ju we're just watching a man sort of make do. He's just like, yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll pick that one. Off we go. Done. Bosh. Which, like, to me comes across a little bit like he's not paying attention to the details. He's not really thinking about what she would want from her wedding. Or from their wedding, should I say. It's a little bit men just make do, it'll be all right in the end. Which, you know, like, that's fine. But also, like, whoever remembered anything when it was like, yeah, that'll do. Like, that's not special, is it? It's on the war path. She wants to make sure Lee is across all of his duties. Right, Where so... are we up to with this, darling? Interesting. I've got lists. I've got lists, I've got lists. <laughs> and getting a fair share of the guest list is the first thing on her mind. Oh, yes, he this hasn't even done the all list that. Of um, Mooney family and Soph's friends, and then um, some of her colleagues that she worked with. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to be 30. Yeah. Okay. Looks like some of Lee's football teammates may not make the cut. Right. Well, yeah, how. It's buoyed up. Well, if it isn't where I used to live. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Kingston upon Thames. By the dress fitting, Sophie's taking her sister Tess for lunch, and despite the rules on secrecy, oh, she can't a long resist day, yes. trying to find out what Lee's been up to. A horrible song. Fun, yeah. or a bit stressed, or a bit stressed. Right. But fun oh, the they're browns. Oh. Yeah, Lucy and Emily. They like. Yeah. Are they the bishops colours. in? They're at the bishops in. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop. We'll lose. What do you mean, bright? I'm going like, you know, kind of paley. Um, You're gonna have an electric yellow pale wedding. And wish wash. Wish wash colours. Okay. And I'm like bold and bright, like do mum. You? Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. that was quite this tough. Quite stressful. So she's let him in. She's let her in to know that. But it was she's quite hard pastel. because you know we were just umming and ahhing for hours. So you haven't chosen. Chosen what? <laughs> Oh, we can't panic. say. I thought it was like a done we might, deal. We might have chosen, we might not have chosen. Okay, we might be yeah. half there. They're being cryptic. Hold your cards close to your... Are you on the case? I'm not you sure. Game? <laughs> You're not sure? Mm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, I think from chatting to Sophie, I've scared her for some reason. I don't know. I feel like after the end it's going to be. I feel like this wedding is just going to be all right. Like I don't feel like it's going to be the most amazing, groundbreaking, memorable thing where he's done something really special for his bride to be and blah blah. blah. I think it's just going to be all right. Which, like, if you're going to spend 14, 15 grand on something, do you want it to be just all right, or do you want it to be like? I really did that, actually. And I think she really does want a big wedding. I think she wants the, the full works by mm. the sounds of it. There's loads still to be done. Mm. All the little things. They're not really little, because people spend years organising their wedding. Like, serious, like, two years. And he's not doing any of that. He's going, that'll be all right. Barnes, Kirkwood and Wolf. The good news for Sophie is that her mum's insisting on helping Lee choose the flowers. OK, right, right. so mummy's input. is going to be. And then say, great, so we'll have that option and that colour. Show up on Friday morning and chuck them on the table. 
so creative. That's what it is. It's so a flower. It grows. artistic. There's no, there's no creativity. You cut the bottom off and you put it in a vase. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see. Ten of them. I'm very right. This man is very like, that'll do. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, bosh. <laughs> you need to spend time thinking about what you want things to look like, what your vision is. Do you have an angle? Do you have a lens that you're looking through in order to create a moment that you will remember fondly for the rest of your life? Or do you just want it to be all right? <laughs> and then you chuck them all in a box. You know, I don't think he's going to feel the same way. That's good. The bad news is... The florist has died. <gasps> the florist doesn't seem to know anything about the wedding. Done. Take those. <laughs> Just speak to Russell because yeah, no, that's, you know, he's yeah. going to say the word to see if he can do the wedding on that date. Because, yeah. you know, as you know, we're quite... We're sort of quite busy oh, okay. with weddings, but a lot of weddings booked. So. Okay. I'm under the impression that it's already booked, to be honest, but that's, yeah. you know, you just, we'll just check with him. Yeah. So, let me take a note anyway. Ooh. Thanks. Might not Ooh. be as straightforward as we think. So, what's your name? Lee Orchard. Scandal. Orchard! From the so Orchard Dynasty! And a chance to put all her wedding worries to Hen one night side. Girl, and learn a driver! Who are all these people? Oh, screaming in the club. It's not quite... Do mums come on a hen night? Have you been on a hen night with your mum? I don't know about that. It's not quite the epic hen party of Sophie's dreams, but she's looking on the bright side. Where is this? The community centre? Tr 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 Troca Brahma? Troca Brahma? Smaller than probably I would have hoped. But it means I can speak to everyone. Oh, well, she's quite invigorated. Oh, I've been here. This is the ice bar. This was the ice bar in central London. No longer there, sadly. You get an allotment of 40 minutes to go in and have a little drinky booze. After 20 minutes, I was like, I am the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. I should probably leave. Even the cups that you get are made of ice. Look, you can see here. Look, this. This is an ice cup. It's made of ice. Very difficult to drink out of, and you end up soaking yourself. <laughs> Well, it's not there anymore. And even Ronnie can just about forget her wedding worries for the night. Central London. The next couple of weeks might get a bit stressful, but it's not the Are they going to Soho? <laughs> oh, she's going to go to Soho. Oh, look. She's, oh, she's had a few. She thinks she's someone. Is that the yard? I think that's the yard. She'll absolutely love the wedding. She's just going to be so excited and just really Girls on gout. I love her. Life, which is Lee. Okay, positive vibes. Where's that? Do we know where that is? No. Oh. And she was never seen again. It's the morning after, oh. and a sad moment for Sophie. Oh. Bianca's been waiting to hear about a job overseas. It's come through. Oh. And she'll now miss the big day. Oh, oh. I feel very emotional. And just really, really sad. I'm not going to be there for her wedding. Not to oh, see her that's home. sad. I'm really, yeah. That'd be just sad. That's so sad. But I won't be there in the morning of her wedding, getting changed and getting all excited and stuff. Oh, that's yeah. sad. You're going to look amazing, love. Oh. Your bestie you can't be at your wedding. Oh, oh that, that, okay, quite that is upset. sad. But, you know, I'm sure she'll have a wicked time. So. Oh, I'm that's a bit worried sad, about that. isn't it? I'm a bit worried about. Ooh. Rosemary's baby. Lee and his trusty sidekick take another task off their long to-do list. Mm, mm, mm. And they're both boys. Mm. Yeah, I'm Give it a go. Lots of wine. Thank you. You know what happens when men drink wine. We're drunk. Really drunk. At the reception venue for a complimentary tasting of the wedding week. menu. Just to make sure that it's up to scratch. Right, yeah. Meanwhile, with Bianca gone, Sophie turns to her sister Lucy to try and influence oh, the wedding Oh, instantly replaced. Right. right, this is the good one. What is it? Flowers Ahoy. Flowers no. Ahoy? Yes. No. no. Yes. yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, but that's spring. Let me just help myself right. What's yeah, I was going to say, don't, don't. I'm not going to wait for you. Don't hold for Thank you. A pavlova? That's not a pavlova. <laughs> I appreciate that he's got a load on his plate, that and that's why I'm trying to stay out of it as much as possible. Oh. Oh, he's and he all stressed. Was, I don't know how he was like, he's all stressed. He's all stressed. <laughs> I don't understand. 
Oh, ooh. This is a lot of food for... Thank you. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess three-course wedding meal. You want the duck? <laughs> no, just, no. We'll just share. I love mash. I'm um, more than happy to help. If you what do you mean we'll help? share? I just want them to involve themselves a bit more. Because it sounds like he's sort of doing it on his own. That's and the point. he's doing it on his own, he's probably getting more stress than he needs to be. Stop mummying him. Hmm? Let him fail. If men don't fail... They won't know how to grow. If men knew that we could shapeshift, they're going to tell the church. No? Yes? Yes or no? I think they leave. Dull! It's that stage now where I could just do nothing and I will just go ahead. <laughs> Lazy <laughs> is that attitude again. <laughs> You're right. I don't. Nice. Bare minimum. Dull. Hopefully, Tessa and Lucy will talk to him and really ask him if he needs any help a bit more. But maybe. He's one of those men that just strike me as like, I'm just really laid back, yeah. And it's like, have you ever met anyone like this? Because I just think, how have you had no input in your life? <laughs> Go with the flow, really laid back, just very chill, doesn't take himself too seriously. Okay, so what are you then? If you don't do all that, what are you? What do you love in life? What do you love about your girlfriend? What do you love? Where's your passion? Oh, it's just really... No! Grow up! Do you want me to go through my list? A. Name tags. She'd like those. The no. idea is that there'll be like a photo of like, um, Soph as a baby. I think Cute it's... idea, but not enough time. Cute, but no. Who else? What are you going to do, like, transport getting so from her, the house to the church? That's the only thing I haven't sorted out yet. Okay. Um, so, uh, transport. So exactly... You're in the country, get a little horse and carriage. Suits, I'm going to go along tomorrow. To the table plan. What do you mean, like where everyone's sitting? Yeah, yeah no, I haven't done that yet because I'm just obviously went to confirm the number. What's she coming in? I love the fact he's like, I haven't done that, I haven't got that, I haven't done that. But he just said, I could do nothing and it would all go fine. No, 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 no. If you don't have a hand in creating your life, somebody else will. Is she coming into the like the internet or is she coming into like yeah, what's the song? Some sort of garage. So some sort of arcade, you know. A little bop. Uh, I'll be sort of pretty standard, I would have thought. What? Huh? Pretty standard sort of wedding music. Da, 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 da. Da, da, when I used to have like a singer with just a piano or something. While she's coming in. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's saying coming in. Mm. I'll ask your mum to uh, speak to her after. Yeah, yeah but write it. Yeah, I suppose it's only like obviously like getting input from everybody else because I actually don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Lee may not know what he's doing. But Sophie's finding that absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder. Mm. It's been so much worse than I thought, Lee being apart from us as a family. I just really miss just day-to-day -day normal stuff. Aww. Him going to work, coming home in the evening. Him going to work and coming home later. <laughs> I really miss it, yeah, going to work. The boys get together to make sure their suits fit. That man, that man. Draw their suits Taxidermy. Spit. Oh. Yeah, it looks pretty, um, dapper. And it's a proud moment for Lee's dad. Ugh. I've never seen him so smart. What a horrible photo. Ever. <laughs> you were not called first this week. Tyra's sending you home. I've never seen him so smart. <laughs> Ever. I think you should go for the tails, though. There's just tails. enough of the 15 grand budget left to take care of some smaller details. Well, that was Claire's Nothing accessories. Table plan. Mm -hmm. Hobby craft? And Lee Can even finds yeah. time to dig craft. out some old family fun. Ah, oh, baby. It's just 48 hours until the wedding. No and wedding, Lee's girls! And on his stag do. Stagger for Christie. His best man started out with big plans for Lee's last night oh, of really? feeding. Taking him to Tranny Shack. <laughs> maybe do some sort of like paragliding or, or base paragliding or something like that. I've been paragliding. I'd just like to do something different. Something different. Oh, uh, what's this? This is the same as every weekend. Uh, the closest they get to extreme sports is about a wrestling. Wrestling? Lee's last night as a uh, single man. I don't think he's too bothered by it. I mean, you know, he, he loves Sophie a lot and 
You know, He's can, not can... single though. This is the irony. I always hear people on like stag dudes being like, oh, last night as a single man. He's not single. He's committed in a relationship that he's a fiance. Not single. And, and that's him. That's, that's really important. Is it? I wonder where that is. Where's that? A local bar for local women. Entitled truth. He's wearing the same like shirt he's worn all week. My part of the whole wedding. I mean, I'm gonna obviously love getting married to Sophie. Are you? And the rest of it has all been a little bit like work to me. And um, this is really the sort of bit that's personal to me. Well, are Sean Cody still casting? <laughs> oh, stumbling home in the arms of a man. Oh, getting on the bus. Trans dev. <gasps> Uh, as the clock ticks, Lee finds solace in the joys of delegation. Cheryl does the order of service. Cheryl? Auntie Tracy makes table decorations. Tracy! Got to love Tracy! And Ronnie gets her hands dirty at the church. Dirty? Ronnie's a dirty girl. Ah, oh, I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> For Sophie, the big moment has finally arrived. Oh, here she is. 24 hours before she walks down the aisle, she's about to see the dress Lee's oh, chosen for her. Strap in, everybody. For the first We're about time. to see the dress. What if I don't like it? Well, then you oh, can always. We totally get another one. No. Yes. Go into the sea <laughs> and not return. Oh my god. How am I going to be able to tell which one it is? Oh, gosh, the streamers. Oh, Hello. How are you? Nice to she's see you. Giddy, giddy Aww. excited. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Annalisa. Hi, Tess. So cute. You want to Annalisa? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Like it. Yeah, okay. Yes, Next Hang excited. on, I'm not ready. Oh, this is really scary. <laughs> Put your glasses on so you can okay. see what it Ooh, looks like. Okay, right, all right. I'm ready. Okay. Time for LASIK. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was similar to one that we saw. Oh, it's beautiful. She looks it. really nice. Oh. Turn around. Okay. Got back. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, Time that's a great reaction. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? A little bit of asymmetric gathering, a little bit of like patterned gathering is the way to go. Time to see if the dress fits. Oh, oh, that's 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 Okay, that is very, that's a good cut of dress oh for her. That God. is the thing. Oh, the course is a little oh. bit long in the front, but that's fine. She's happy. Don't you love it? It's amazing. Yes, the gathering like, makes so much oh more sense. Oh my God, I love it. No. I really, really, really love it. I really love it. And it fit. I can't believe it fits. They're absolutely amazing. Well, I you had your measurements it. I taken, really though. It wasn't the fit, but yeah, it fit. it's perfect. There's oh. just one last thing. Look at that ring! Now that's a goiter. Oh. Right, what's it? Uh, the veil, girls, crossing the veil. Oh Her spirit has returned Stop from beyond the veil. Stop it! I'm not feeling you anyway. I'm crying into my goiter. Please. Oh. oh, and she fades away. Right, good morning. Time to die. It's finally the wedding day. All right, well, After... what are we doing? What are we doing? So we have a makeup artist. We have a hairdresser. We didn't see the makeup artist budget, though, did we? No. What's she doing? She's doing some eyebrows. A wedding day. A little bit of eyebrow filling in. I can see a little bit of mascara. After four weeks of planning and with every penny of his wedding budget spent, Ooh, like Lee is about to find out if he's delivered Sophie's dream day. Oh, she's a bit... Oh, heavy. With the Samara oh, art. But will I thought Sophie was a and her bridesmaids be ready on time? Cut crease. <laughs> what the safety pin? Look at the the Gales. The you need to calm down. An ochre yeah. wall. We're just getting our necklaces on. Yeah, it's about 11 o'clock, so I think uh, right about now, Sophie's probably uh, getting nervous. Um, so I've had her all her uh, hair and her makeup done and breakfast and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I should imagine she's feeling quite nervous, but, you yeah, know, really enjoying it. Wow. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. What a turn up for the books. If you look at her mauve eyeshadow, 
matches the same mauve of the dresses. That's a really good, really, really, really good detail. I don't suppose the fiance would have been like, I want my wife to wear mauve eyeshadow on the day of her wedding. But there we go. A happy coincidence. Love that. It's so cute. Uh, I love it. I know. Hello. Oh my god. Got your bag. Oh, right, the order of service. Yeah. Cool. Got the the um, table oh, arrangements. Men gathered the... together, thinking, <laughs> uh, sharing the brain. Oh, okay, that dress. Oh, yes. You look beautiful. <laughs> West Virginia thing. You look great, sir. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, you look Interesting amazing. Picture. Cool. Let's see the back. Beautiful, Stop crying. You'll ruin your week. Hollywood bride. Oh. It's almost time to die. But while Lee's at the altar, <laughs> oh. here comes the woman. Sophie's at the scissors. Oh, no. No, no, I'm just getting those stray bits. Why? For what? It's not important. Oh, look. Oh, she's going to stand him up. Oh, that's a gorgeous car. Okay. Look at this. Nice and vintage. Boudoir. Okay, he's done quite well. For someone who I was just a bit like, he's not paying any attention, it's all going to be all right, he's not done anything, having meetings with the other women in her life has really, really changed the course because I reckon he would have been like, yeah, it's all right, yeah, it's all right. But now they were like, she wants a singer, she wants, you know, you're in the country, something a bit countryside. Great, great advice. What a horrible horn that is. Get out of the way! I'm from the 1920s! Expressions. God. Don't do this every day, do you? Can you believe all this? No. Oh, and there's the photographer. Ooh, dingly, wingly, bingly, dong. So far, so good, as Sophie discovers she's getting the traditional church wedding she's always dreamed of. Yes, that's what she oh, wanted. <laughs> oh, God. Phantom of the Opera is here. Ta ta. Da, 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 da. I'll be very upset if this is copyright somehow. La, 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 la. Take your hat off, sir. She was not, she was like, get your hat off. Get it off. Think about what you've done. Please be seated. Sit down. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Lee and Sophie. Aww. To share their joy. Aww. And to celebrate their love. Have we actually seen like a wedding wedding before? Sophie in this show? and Lee are now to make their vows to oh, each other. The vows. So would you like to turn and face each other before the congregation? And Lee, I speak to you first. You say after me. I, Lee, take you, Sophie. I, Lee, take you, Sophie. To peg To me. be my wife. To be my wife. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Gout. In sickness and in health. Till death us do part. Till death. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. All right, Sophie, I'd like to put the ring on. Yes. It's fine. It fits. Oh. No. Oh. That's great. All the babies are very upset about all this. In the presence of God. Oh, she loves and that. Before she? This In the congregation, presence of God. Lee and Sophie have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Yay! Oh, how awful. Oh, I didn't know. I just. Just don't shove it down my throat. Whatever they do behind closed doors. <laughs> Not for me. I'll make sure I'll vote against them. 
<laughs> yeah, very, very exciting. Oh, uh, where's the confetti? I can't wait for the rest of the day. <laughs> and though Friday wasn't his first choice, Friday. Lucky Lee has picked the only sunny day of the summer. Oh, oh absolutely. The only fabulous. sunny day of I the mean, summer. It, was, it could oh, not God. have been more perfect. It was pretty it's amazing Friday. to watch that. Um, it was nice to see everything Ooh, come together. She's going to the races. All his hard work and my hard work. In hell! <laughs> Oh, there's the confetti. Today, she Love a bit of confetti. Get the scene here. She looks stunning, I know she was. No. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. It was very special. And now what? <laughs> oh, beep, beep, girls, get out of my way. I'm drunk. It is wild, isn't it? That like the ceremony is what, half an hour, 20 minutes maximum? I think he had a lot of help with this, to be fair. But it's worked. 14 months ago, whatever it was now, he, he, uh, he, he didn't even have a girlfriend. You know? uh, just over a year later, he's married and, you know. Oh, he seems like. Pulled off this. The one that got away. Playing it straight. <laughs> and Lee scores brownie points with his attention to detail. Oh, yes. The best She's man has some happy kind ladies, words for the couple. Nice. Lee, you're a very lucky man, and you'll leave today here having gained a, a, a beautiful, clever, intelligent, you know, uh, wonderful, charming, uh, charming wife. Oh. And Sophie. Uh, You'll leave here today having gained a, a beautiful dress and a wonderful bouquet. We know oh, you're made of lesbians. Today. So she's just, uh, oh. she's recorded you a message. Oh, see, it's the immediate floods of Mr. tears. Mr. and Mrs. Orchard. Oh, no, it's, a, it's a YouTube now video. Married. So, congratulations. You are both an amazing couple, and I love you both, and I know that you're going to love each other for oh. the rest of your lives. That's sweet. And, yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. Close the laptop blocked. Such a perfect day. Oh, and I that's just good. Thought, uh, the church was absolutely amazing. I, could, I just couldn't believe, like, it's even in our parish. I know you have difficulties with churches and parishes. It's just so beautiful, so beautiful, like, little woman. And I just loved it. And little then, woman. <laughs> transport and a beautiful the, little the woman. surprise and, like, everyone there. And the, I just loved everything. That's the result you want, isn't it? 100%. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Orchard. Come on! Mr. and Mrs. Orchard. Of the Orchard Dynasty. Copyright music. Oh! Oh, Roni will be pleased. We've kind of ended up with just an absolutely incredible day. We've had to work hard for it, but, you know, we've ended up with just this amazing day, which is what I think anyone who's getting married really wants to aim for. Yes. I'm glad you got the help, though, along the way, because it was very... It was turning very... It'll be all right on the night. Interesting. Hannah Condor's lip sync. So, um, I think it's just great. Hello, and Kerry! I have a wonderful, wonderful life together. Oh. Ooh, it's getting a bit intimate here on this day. On you. That's it. Time to think about what you've done. Well, my lovelies, what an interesting episode this was. I feel like we are led to believe that this episode, everyone in this episode kind of felt very good about what was happening. I will say it did feel a bit beardy at one point. I was a bit like, oh, what's gonna happen next? Such a shame that the best friend had to not be there and only record like a YouTube video for them. A real shame actually, because I bet that was like a big thing. Oh, I've got the hiccups still. One thing I definitely want to say, though, is that I was really getting the vibe of, oh, it'll be all right. Yeah, he's a bloke. Yeah, it'll be all right. Don't, yeah, no, like, nah, yeah, I just don't need to do anything and it'll be all right. If you hadn't have seen the mother, the sisters, the best friend, and actually got input from them, I reckon this wedding would have looked quite different. But I will always say, anytime you want to go for a dress and you're a little bit unsure, always having like optical illusion details of like in at the waist and out, is generally gonna be the safest bet. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode in the comments box below, because I do love a bit of don't tell the bride. However, I do wanna say the first season tends to be quite tame. I know it gets a bit juicier 
as time goes on. And with that, my loves, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Monsters Are Scary too. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. It's Stunning Woman on the go. If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The QR code is on the screen right here. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, ContraPoints, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, Jen Martin, Jenny Wood, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Lenore, Mo Sherman, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Loves Rory, Stefutex, Steve, and Taylor Martin. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm gonna leave on the note of anything in your life that is worth the while is worth the work. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> yeah.